Okay, this is our tackle box card. I'm gonna show you some quick tips um, that we're gonna use in our next stamp camp. And if you wait till the end, I got a little bonus surprise, show you what we did with all these extra pieces that we cut out of the middle when we made our um, tackle box frame. So keep watching till the end. Okay, so first off, you're gonna use your dies. Oh, another fun tip. Um, if you don't like doing puzzles when you put your dies back together, I before I took any off, I copied it in the copy machine and stuck it inside. So I know how to get them to all fit on here because sometimes that's a challenge. So um, yeah, that's a I like I like doing that. Okay, so you're gonna fold your piece of cardstock in half, and you're gonna use this die right here. Just make sure you hang it off the edge, right? Just go right to the edge of the cut. So, um, and probably use some washi tape to hold it in place there. So on your fold side. So this has gotta be your fold side hanging off. And then you'll get, um, you know, a nice curved edges on that card. So, and you don't have to, it's just a fun added bonus. But, all right, so you'll need to cut your die out um, with the front of your tackle box. And this piece right here is a piece of five and three, three and a half um, piece of vanilla. Um, so first off, um, I just kind of laid this on here so I can see, let me turn that around here, so I can see where to stamp um, my pieces. I didn't want to glue together yet because you know, sometimes we mess up and we have to flip our cardstock over. So we'll stick that on there, that's um, Pebbled Path. And then we're gonna make this a retirement card. Obviously, good things come to those who wait. Have happy retirement on there. And then go ahead and um, stamp one of your um, bobbers inside there, okay? And then on a scrap piece, go ahead and stamp another bobber and one of the lures. Um, and this is what you're going to get. Then you'll stamp on top with the, with the Mossy Meadow and the Calypso to get the red on there. I love two-step stamping. It makes things so easy. Okay, so now we're just going to use some glue dots. Um, just in a few little places, um, like the edge right here of my card, and um, a couple in the middle, just to keep it together. All right, I'll just put a couple in the middle. Okay. You actually need to stick our little piece of DSP on there too. So let me grab that little piece of the little fly paper. Okay, so I'm gonna stick some more, a little bit of glue on the edges here for this little guy. I always try to not do a lot of green glue because I don't want to seep out because it kind of stays sticky forever. So I'm just gonna slide that piece on there. There we go. Um. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a couple more glue dots for the edges. Just a couple more. On this side, that's a big spot, so that's a good place for, you can use any kind of glue, you like your green glue or whatever, but that's what I like. Okay, Um. actually, let's do it this way. Because it's so, the, it barely fits on there and you wanna make sure that you don't let it hang off your curved edges that it's best to do upside down. Just kind of stick it down like that. And then you'll probably want to add some more adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a strip of the green glue around there. And then we can go ahead and put on our card. It'd be fun also if you put some dimensionals to kind of raise it up a little bit too. I'm gonna to poke that glue dot under there. Sometimes those things stick out. All right, there you go. And then we'll just add um, these pieces with some dimensionals and I've got some lures that I cut out with the um, holographic trio and I like I don't really know how um, fishing things go but I looked it up and it looked like <laughs> it looked like the lure kind of went like this and it had the hook sticking in it so anyways you get the idea and then I just added um, some embellishments I just added a few little embellishments right there just to add some Fun sparkle on there and you can always put any 
saying you want another stamp set has lots of fun different words or happy birthday works good too okay so with our leftover pieces for all these pieces from the inside of your card we made this fun little guy so i used our new little treat bags just folded it left about a half an inch on the outside and then i thought it'd be a great um way to put like a gift card in there and then a piece of dsp and then used one of my little squares to happy father's day and then cut out another fly and tied it up so there you go an extra bonus card for you we'll be doing this at our stamp camp too see you then bye